Fellas, today I'm going to be showing you how to PK Hex any Pokemon you want into Pokemon Legends Arceus. If this video helps you out today, be sure to leave a like and subscribe. And with that being said, we got all the obligatory YouTuber stuff out of the way. Let's get right into the video. So first things first, we got to go to the desktop. From here, I'm going to leave both of these links in the description. You're going to want to go to Checkpoint 3.7.4 right now. That's the one that works. It might eventually update, but who knows. For now, 3.7.4 always works, so just download this. Download the .nro, and then here we go. We got that there. And then from here, you're going to want to go to PK Hex, and you're going to want to download this. Extract it wherever you want. In this case, I'll um, minimize my window, and we'll just we'll just leave it. Uh, we'll just leave it here. There we go. We got PK Hex. From here, I'm going to show you guys how to do this on Yuzu first, and then I'll show you how to do it on your Switch afterwards. All right, guys. So first thing we're going to want to do is open up Yuzu like this. And here we are. Yuzu will open up. From here, we're going to open mod save data location. And it should be right here. There's main one and main two. Main is the... This is the important one right here, main. So what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to go here, open up PK Hex. All right, so now that we have PK Hex open, what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna click on the file explorer. And what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna go to view, which is up here. And you're gonna wanna click on hidden items, this checkbox right here before we move on. You just wanna be able to see invisible folders on your computer. So from here, you're gonna go to PK Hex, go to open, go to this PC, go to local disk C, you're going to want to go to users, the name of the PC, mine's named Needles, because, you know, for obvious reasons. And now you should see this folder called App Data. Go into here, go into Roaming, scroll down to Yuzu now. And from here, we're going to want to go to NAND, go to User again. This is a lot of steps, bear with me. Go to Save, click on the top one, click on the top one again. And you're going to want to click on the ID that says 01001F501, this whole thing. This is Legends Arceus, so open that up and click on Main. And from here, we see the Pokemon in our party, the Bidoof, and now we can change it to whatever we want. So, Alright guys, now that we're in PK Hex and loaded up the file, you're going to want to right click and then view whatever Pokemon you want to change. We're going to change this Bidoof. We're going to change it to anything that's in the game, so Magikarp. We're going to nickname it God. And we're just going to give it some random stuff, random EVs, random IVs, does not matter to us. Rollout, sure. Let's give it Spatial Rend. And uh, let's give it a roar of time. I deserve some really good moves. And, and, and do splash. And then splash. Sure. Now that no splash. We can go to main. And you guys can make it shiny if you want. We'll make this one shallow for the sake of the video. Make it nice and shiny. There we go. Set as a fable encounter. You can set how you found it. Does not matter. And then from here, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to right click and click on set. And that is how you set in this wonderful magic harp you made. Once you guys are done exporting all your Pokemon, what you do is you go to File, Export, Save, and you just want to save it over the original menu. How to do this on Switch. So guys, now that we have Checkpoint open, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to Switch. And from here, you're going to want to drop Checkpoint NRO. Throw right in there. I already did it for mine, so it should work just the same. And from here, we're going to want to go to our Switch and see if it works. So guys, now that we're on our Switch, what you're going to want to do now is you're going to want to hold the R button, the front one, and click on an application. I'll do Legends Arceus, for example. Once you've done that, you will then be brought to the homebrew menu in its full form. And from here, you're going to want to open up Checkpoint. You have to do it while holding R, by the way, guys. Otherwise, it will not work. Go to Checkpoint. From here, you're going to go to... Not right here. So guys, now that we're here, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to find Pokemon Legends Arceus in this list. And then you're going to want to click on New. And then just name it whatever. We'll name it this. And there we go. We have two backups now. Alright, from here guys, we're going to want to go into our uh, PC. So we'll be right back. Alright guys, now what we're going to do is we're going to open up PK Hex with our Switch uh, SD card plugged in. We're going to open that up. And here we are. From here, what you're going to want to do is click on File, and then do Open. 
And from here, you're gonna wanna go to, not user, you wanna go to switch. You wanna go into switch again. And you're gonna wanna look for, it should be called, not lock pick, it should be called checkpoint. You still go in here, go to saves. Now I have to look for a Pokemon Legends Arceus through this list. Okay, so now that we're in checkpoint and we go to saves, this is Legends Arceus right here. And we see the two uh, save files we made. You wanna click on main, open. And here we go, guys. We have access to all of our boxes in Legends Arceus. From here, we can change whatever we want. So for example, let's go into my pasture one. As we see here, we have a Bidoof. Let's change up this Bidoof. So you're gonna wanna click on it right click it and click on view and now we can change it to whatever we want so here let's do uh do a scissor scissor is dope we've done that it's now a scissor we can make it shiny let's make it uh i can give you a recommended move so for example attacks you can do one of these yep make it randomized ivs randomized evs so let's make it an alpha all right guys now that we want to save it you just right click this box and click set and from here it should be ready to go so what we're going to want to do next is click on file do export save and just put it right over that main file you want it to be okay it's saved now we can close out and go back to our switch all right guys so now that we're on our switch we're going to hold r and click on the a button launch uh any app of our choice and to boot up through the manual homebrew menu this will make it so we can use more resources in the homebrew menu so we can now launch checkpoint once we've done that we're going to want to go back up to legends arceus click on the save that you put the mods in that's this one they click on r and do restore selected save and work successfully go to legends arceus well we got to close that for now we open it up and the mods should work. All right, guys, as we see here, our level five scissor was transferred into our game. And let me uh, go and give it a test. Put out our alpha shiny scissor. And look at that, it's huge. It's an absolute monster. So that being said, that is how you get any Pokemon you want in PK Hex on your Switch and Yuzu. So guys, thank you so much for watching today. If the video helped out, be sure to leave a like and subscribe. We have more guides coming out for you guys soon. Anyways, that being said, see you guys in the next video. Peace.